back again with another trailer reaction. Thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Josh, and we are doing some Star Wars stuff now. So, as D23 came out and started doing a couple trailers for some Disney, trailer reactions for some Disney things, and then I realized, oh yeah, Marvel's part of Disney as well, because, you know, Disney owns basically everything, and then it was, oh yeah, Star Wars, Disney owns Star Wars. So, some Star Wars stuff came out too, and I wanted to react to those because I am... I'm a lifelong Star Wars fan from early on, you know, being born and raised in the 80s and then um, making it through the, the prequels, and I did enjoy those to a certain extent, and then you have the new series that came out, which I also, the new trilogy of movies, which I, for the most part, actually enjoyed. It ended kind of interestingly, but then you had some of the Disney shows that came out that I was really on board for. Mandalorian, which I seen there was a teaser for that, which we're going to get to in a little bit, but uh, some of the shows came out, they were pretty good. And then some more of the new shows came out, and I really... Star Wars has almost... They've almost crossed the line for me that I'm not going to be coming back to to watch some more with the Obi-Wan show. It was just not for me. Um, that actually was one of the shows that spawned me to start to do some reviews and reactions based on how much that one affected me and my uh, love of Star Wars. But that doesn't mean I'm willing to not give other things another shot. And... One of the movies, actually probably my favorite Star Wars movie, you don't have to think about that one, uh, is actually Rogue One. I was a really big fan of that one. I thought it was uh, the most war-like Star Wars movie, and it was kind of outside of the, the Skywalker saga, which may not be for everybody, but I really enjoyed it. And then I heard that they were doing a show that was a prequel, not a huge prequel fan, for the most part, just in general, because you kind of already know what's going to happen, um, with Andor, on Andor with uh, Cassian from Rogue One. So... I'm on board for that. I like the character. Um, I like the time they're setting in, but I wanted to see what the show is about, so I think it's a show. Let's go ahead and just see what the trailer's like. All about. Spy. Okay, same look. Rogue One. Saboteurs. Assassins. We've all done terrible things on behalf of the rebellion. Cassian Adler. No matter what you tell me or tell yourself, you'll ultimately die fighting these bastards. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once to something real? Ooh. We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark. There is an organized rebel effort. Drill down and get a hunt started. You realize what you set in motion? People will suffer. Time has come to force their hand. At what cost? Everything. Every day we wait. They get stronger. Let's take them by surprise. For a great good, call it what you will. Let's call it war. Standing up. They're afraid. Right now, they're afraid. Star Wars Andor. Three episode premiere. Streaming September 21st. Ooh. Three episode premiere September 21st. That's not too far away. Okay. Damn it, Disney. Okay, you may have got me back a bit. Now, that one looked... It looked like Rogue One. It looked like... It was high quality. It looked like the, the sets and everything was larger scale. I mean, it looked like there was a lot happening. It looked like the... I was kind of curious as to what the theme was going to be, but it looks like it's cultivating the rebellion, you know, really trying to figure out um, is it worth fighting for, what's worth fighting for, and I think that's what Rogue One was all about, like, you know, and the, the highs and lows and war that everybody doesn't have their hands clean. There's not just good guys and bad guys. You have to do some bad things in order to do some for a good cause sometimes, and I thought that movie did that really well and that was what this looks looks like it's gonna do again the look of it it doesn't look like it's made for 10 year olds uh, or in Obi-Wan's case an 11 year old that can barely run a looks looks much better so I'm definitely gonna be on board for this one uh, again the cast of characters that you have there you have one of the scars guards that's in like everything he normally plays a good bad guy but I love him you got Forrest Whitaker back there as what Saul Guerrero um, Cassian, of course. I'm interested to see some of the other characters that they may introduce, or if they keep it relatively minimal, and a couple call-outs to, you know, some future things, but yeah, we'll have to see. I'm a big fan of Rogue One, and I think this is hopefully going to be in line with that one, so I'm probably going to check it out. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Make sure subscribe. I think it's this side. That'd be great. Peace, dude.